Hello and welcome to KD's Business Tips. Michael Lapid here to talk to you about business startup costs. Many businesses start up having costs before they even start. That is actually very normal. People have issues with that sometimes. They're like, oh, what do I do? How do I do this? Make sure you track those expenses is the bottom line. There are a few rules. To be able to deduct a business expense, you typically have to have carried on business for that fiscal year. But startup costs can go back a little further. If you can prove that they were mandatory to start that business and you couldn't have started that business without those expenses, then those are legitimate expenses even if you go back further. Now, at the end of the day, you want to make sure you track those expenses and have the backup, the receipts, the, the statements, and so forth, because that's what you need to write off any expense, whether it's a startup cost before they started the company, a startup cost when you started the company, or any expense during the company. Okay. Now, you may have some initial expenditures at the very beginning when you first start up that you're wondering. They're only partial. You're like, well, I bought a computer, but I use it partially personal, partly, partly for business. As I've stated before, it doesn't matter if it's partially or fully, it could still be a business write-off. It's just if it's partially, you're going to write off a percentage of that expense or a percentage of that asset. For example, let's say you went out and you bought a truck, but you didn't start the business yet, but you knew the truck was for the business. That's okay because the business can then acquire that truck or you could still write off portions of that truck in the business even though you acquired that truck before the business. As an example, it can be any equipment or anything at all. So make sure you don't leave out the startup costs and you don't forget about those startup costs. They're very important. Some of the common business startup costs include maybe equipment, your incorporation fees at the registry or with an accountant or with a lawyer, of course. Maybe office space you started incurring right from the beginning or earlier on. Maybe storage space, inventory, maybe you pre-purchased some inventory or you had inventory ready to go into the company. Marketing, maybe you pre-did some marketing. Website, you probably set up that website right from the beginning. Office supplies, furniture, maybe utilities, payroll, the list goes on. It really doesn't matter what the expense is. If it pertains to business, most likely it's going to be a deduction. If you have any questions on this, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being a part of KD's Business Tips, and we'll see you in the next video.